Hi everyone, Karen Birchill here. And as you can see, I have some stencils that have some acrylic paint on them. That's been done because of jelly printing, or I have my plastic cutting board that I put in between my pages and paint gets on that. So I put some paint on this. Now this has been sitting for about a day or whatever. Now in the past, I would take a credit card and I would scrape this off and that would work reasonably well, as you can see. You know, you could take it off and it would come off. But I found an even easier way to do that and also help clean up your work area and your brushes that I'd like to share with you. And that uses Murphy's Oil Soap. Now this, it's almost a liter, uh, 950 milliliter size, was about $6 um, in Canada. So this is Murphy's Oil Soap. So what I'm going to do is, and I've never measured this, so I don't really know. I'm just going to put some into a spray bottle and it's a good size spray bottle and then I'm going to put some sunlight dish soap and I'm not sure if you need sunlight dish soap or not but that's what I what we use so that's what I have and I find that if you don't put the dish soap it doesn't quite work so it's the combination of the two so I'm going to put kind of two shots two three squirts in and then I'm going to fill this with water. This is just regular tap water. When I start, I do use warm water, but as it sits, it obviously cools. So if I was going to be doing a lot of stencils, I would use warm water because it does seem to make a little bit of a difference. And I'm just attaching this. So. and shake it up so that all the the soap and the Murphy's oil soap cleans. So what I do now is simply when I have my craft craft mat like you see here my um, it's a basically an, an oven liner I don't, haven't bought an official craft mat, and I just spray that on. Now, this seems to be work fairly quickly any time that I've done it. Of course, it's been off camera. And look how easy that is. I mean, you saw me scraping. It's pretty much instantaneous. This is gesso on here from when I was gessoing a page and so and I'm just clearing it. Cleans it quite quickly. No, I'm not having to put a whole lot of pressure on this to clean. Now granted this was wasn't you know wasn't sitting here the gesso was here for about three days and the other paint was probably here for about a day. So it just helps to clean quickly and easily. And I actually don't mind the scent and I'm really sensitive to most of the scents. So, so there you have it for that. So now with some of my stencils, they have been, I warn you, they have been um, stained with the acrylic paint has been on it for quite a while so I'm just going to spray this on. I might turn off the camera and time this to to see. So this purple has been on for, for a bit of a time. I'm going to say it was on before Christmas and already you can see that it's starting to to lift up. Sometimes my stencils 
um, when I've cleaned them with whatever purpose, uh, which, whichever way that I've done it. Um, it loses the white, and this stencil is one of those. This is a stencil one. I don't know what brand that is. Sorry, I could check, but it is taking off the white as well. Um, but as you can see, I mean, that's not the fault of this that was coming off even when I used, tried to use anything else. And it's coming off pretty quick. And if anything, it's probably been on there for a couple minutes and it is coming off quite quickly. Now I have had another video where I was cleaning my stencils using rubbing alcohol. And you can definitely use that. I almost find this easier. I, I like the smell of this a little better. Um, if something has been really sitting a long time, I definitely would use the rubbing alcohol method. If it's fresh or within, you know, a couple months, because this has been here, you know, and really it's It has totally taken off the paint and it is not the fault of the Murphy soap for taking this white off. Some of the stencils, some of the brands um, that I've bought that's happened to, it doesn't damage the stencil at all. It just becomes clear. So there we go with that one is perfectly perfectly clean and the smell if you don't have to worry about fumes as you would with the rubbing alcohol here's another stencil that I have and this was an Americana segmented swirls and I've got paint on both sides and I'm just spraying this on I think this has been on it about the same amount of time, you know, and just let it sit. What I would do if I was doing a lot of them, I have a tin plate from a pizza, purchased pizza, pizza that I have. I would just actually put them in this and it fits most of my stencils and put put a layer of water and just let them soak and it would become even easier for for me to clean it and stuff so um, that's another recycling tip here using these sometimes I put water in it and a tray because most of my big stencils don't really fit in any kind of tub and stuff and I when I'm if I was to stencil and right after I jelly printed threw this in there and let it soak I would not have difficulty at all getting this off um, this one's going to be yeah, see it's already starting to lift and you can see this time this this stencil isn't losing its you know, but there's lots of layers of acrylic paint on here. It's a very popular stencil of mine. Whereas this stencil I only used, I think I used it for a couple prints, jelly prints. And this one I used, well, as you can see with the multiple colors, but it is coming up rather quick, easily. And um, again, there are no, no toxic fumes with this, um, as there would be with the, rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to turn this off and time how long this takes. I'm just going to kind of soak soak this stencil and I'll come back. I've got some paint on this side as well because well, you know, when you're jelly printing, you get it everywhere. And um, I'll come back and tell you how long it took. So it's been about 5 minutes and you can tell that it's coming up. Now this stencil is very, there's a lot of cutouts and stuff, so I'm just going, let's see if you can zoom in a little bit here. 
with the credit card and it's coming off quite nicely. So it's, I'm not going to show you do the whole thing because um, they have to go pretty slowly on a stencil like this with a lot of cutouts. So I find sometimes with the credit card that just helps lift it a little bit. So it's been about five minutes and you know before it was impossible to just do this with a credit card. So it is lifting it quite nicely. Five minutes just sitting on the, on the table here. I'm just going to move this aside for a minute and I just wanted to talk. This stuff I also put into a little jar that I keep on my workstation. Um, once upon a time when I did folk art painting I was really really careful with my brushes and then I wasn't so careful with my brushes. Um, let's put, put a little too much in here. So now if I have a brush that I've let the acrylic dry in I can just put it in here and I keep the water level lower than where the where the bra metal bracket here or whatever that's called and I can soak them in there so and it kind of conditions them this brush is you know really hard I got some acrylic in there and just letting it sit in here for a little while I totally gets the um, gets it out so for cleaning you know your crafter sheet for cleaning um, if you're using plastic cutting boards in between your pages to cleaning the acrylic paint off of your work table surface because Lord knows I can't keep it all in one place um, to caking off stencils and to cleaning brushes Murphy soap sunlight detergent, warm water in a spray bottle and you have a, a very handy way to keep everything and your workstation clean.